Hello and let's install DWM. It's pretty simple to do. First up, we need a few packages. We can do sudo pacman-sy. And first up, we need base devil and then git and a text editor. I like to go with NeoVim. You can go with anything you want. It really doesn't matter that much. Hit enter. So there we go. Uh, now all of that is installed. Now we can just uh, pull down a few of git, a few git packages. So we can do this is the first one. This one download DWM. And then just go with the same command and just change this to st. Uh, now that both of them are downloaded, now we need a few libraries and a bit more packages that we need. So let me type it out. Uh, here's all the packages that we need. Make sure to type them type them properly and let's just install it. There you go. This will install everything and I'll see you after this is installed. Okay, now that is installed, so we can move on to the next step. Okay, now uh, to install any of this, so if I do ls, you can see the dwm and st, we just have to go to the folder, cdst, there we go, hit ls, and there is a bunch of files in here. We can install it simply by doing sudo make clean install, hit enter, and there we go, it is installed. Now in here, uh, do make sure to take note of uh, this line right here, Basically, where it says uh, slash user local slash bin st, this will be important. So we can just clean, clear it out, and then we can move to dwm dot dot slash dwm. And then again, if you see here, you can see there is a lot of files in here. We can do sudo make clean install. Basically, the same command. Hit enter. And there you go. It is installed. Now, there is a bit more we have to do in here. So, if I do ls, you can see there's a file called config. Now, we want to edit this. And to edit it, we can do nvim. Again, the text editor of your choice. And then just go with config.h. And then hit enter. And there's a lot in here. But if we just scroll down, you can search for sh. So, now in here, you can see there it says bin slash sh. And we can actually change it to our newly edited, uh, new added ST shell. So for that, remember what we saw, we saw user slash user slash local slash bin slash ST. So this is basically what we wrote. And this is what we need. Just remember the line. So it's about 55, 56, and it should be on this line right here. And if you do scroll down here, you can see that it does, uh, it, this basically contains all the DWM commands, so everything that is needed. So, uh, for now, this is all we need to do in here. Now, uh, to save this, uh, let's do X. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> there you go. It is written. And we can actually, uh, in case you forgot where your ST was located, we can do which ST and it will show the location of ST. So it's great. And now we have a bit more configuration to do is that we have to actually boot into DWM when we reboot the system. For that, remember we installed XORG X in it and I want to use that. For that, we can do uh, nvim and then dots, sorry, uh, basically home dot slash dot in case you're in any other directory, but it's just dot X in it rc so if this file does exist then it should have something but if it doesn't exist we have to create it so you hit enter so now that we have it this literally single line that we have to type we just have to do exec dwm and that's about it we can do x it's written clear it out and there's another file we have to edit and that is uh, bash underscore profile now as you can see if you have a user you should already have this file and if you didn't modify it uh, it should con it shouldn't contain much and as you can see it does not contain much so we can go in here and just put again a single line start x so there you go just save and exit that's about it like actually that's about it we can now do a quick reboot So now if we just log in, there you go. We are booted into our freshly installed DWM. Now in here, so now we have a window. So if we do Alt Shift Space, there you go, we have a terminal. And we can just move it around. We can actually resize it if we just press Alt and rightly. And to get this terminal up, we just have to do Alt Shift Plus. Alt is basically the mod key for DWM. If you have used something like Hyperland and something, uh, the same way that uses Windows key, this basically uses Alt key for its configuration. 
Now to uh, modify this DWM, we can just get into DWM. So we can do CD DWM and like before, we can do nvim and then dot slash config dot h hit enter and there you go now we have this in here uh, you see this file like names right here these are basically how many windows are there sorry workspaces so if we remove some of them let's say we give four and this should only give four of them and then so as you see there is d menu so if you want to change stuff like other than d menu if you want to use something else it can be done now uh, i would like this like fonts to be a bit bigger so in here it says size 10 uh, i would like to have it at maybe 16 uh, we can have this as 16 as well why not but we are not using d menus so yeah anyway so this is the file basically that you need to configure dwm and again you can uh, consult uh, you can consult success's guide on how to configure this and whatnot but for this guide that should be it we can actually save it and to uh, kind of apply or change it, we have to remake it. Now, this kind of gets old, uh, but if you can get it to where you want to, it can be a pretty nice system. So, we have to install it again. And again, if you don't get any errors, it should be fine. Now, at this point, there are two ways we can go. We can log out or just reboot the system to apply the changes. And I'll just reboot the system. Why not? There you go. Now let's just log in. And as you can see, everything is a bit larger. So if you found this video helpful, then leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I do do pretty much a lot of things on this channel. So there are videos where I install a lot of desktop environment on my system. I tried a Windows 1, like the first ever Windows that was ever created. So there's a lot we do on this channel. So make sure to subscribe. And also leave a comment on what display manager or window manager do you use or if you use DWM then what type of config or which config do you enjoy the most or did you make your own? Make sure to let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.